Welcome to Lagoons Do a Better TV. We're here at WEFTEC 2016. Um, today we're going to talk to Kevin Grant from Airzen about uh, blowers. Uh, many lagoon systems have diffused aeration, and in most cases when you have diffused aeration, obviously you're going to have a blower of some kind, and, and, and so we'll talk about the different uh, options that they have available. Let's talk about your turbo. Okay. Well, both the, both the PD and the hybrid are positive displacement, so per revolution, you're going to get a certain amount of error. Mm -hmm. That's called a, a constant volume variable pressure device. Mm -hmm. The other type of generic technology is centrifugal technology now that we've, there's, that comes in several forms, multi-stage centrifugals. Mm -hmm. And what we have, we don't have the multi-stage, but we have a, what's called a high-speed turbo. And that centrifugal uh, technology or also sometimes called a dynamic machine. So use centrifugal force to impart energy to get the air to move. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, um, you uh, have generally for efficiency, you have a fairly small sweet spot for, for, for energy. But you can, you can get a turn down about, and typically on our high speed turbo, about a two to one turn down. So if you're operating mm -hmm. and you, you need a very uh, airflow, then the turbo would would get you about a two to one. The positive displacements get you a little bit more. But that turbo blower is uses a, a permanent magnet motor with the impeller mounted directly on the end of the shaft and a high frequency inverter that gets it up to very high speeds, like up to 42,000 RPM. Wow. So the advantages of the turbo are you have a very small machine that puts out a very high volume of air, so it saves space. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> the bearings we use inside the machine are called airfoil bearings, so it rides on a cushion of air, so there's no oil in this machine whatsoever, mm -hmm. so no wow. oil changes. The only maintenance you do on a turbo is air filters. Okay. Um, every five to seven years you might have with the VFD and the air, air inverter, there might be some ca capacitors, things like that, that typically you'll have on any type of electrical equipment. Sure. But from a general day-to-day -day maintenance, air filters is the only thing. Wow. Um, it's, it's highly efficient. It's, it's roughly comparable to the efficiency of the, of the hybrid. Mm -hmm. So you see the same type of savings. Um, but you get a lot, like I say, a lot of volume out of a very small footprint. And it's very quiet. And it's also very um, um, you know, efficient. So, sure. So that's, that's one technology that we have, and it, it's a very good fit for, for generally, uh, you know, constant operating conditions when right. you just need a constant air, air flow, okay. typically for a lagoon or whatnot. Sure. So when would you, what kind of applications do you see in terms of airflow and pressure when you would recommend the turbo relative to the PD or the hybrid? Right. Well, and there are, there are some definite overlap, but what we have to look at is the the way the different blowers perform. The, the PD and the hybrid are positive displacement. So to get to increase or vary your flow to increase the, the flow or, or, or reduce the flow, you're on a, a VFD, a frequency inverter, mm -hmm. and you get about a four to one turndown. So you get a very large turndown. Sure. Turbos, you do not get quite as big a turn down you get about a two to one so mm -hmm. if you if you turn down is the key to the project you might be looking at one of the two positive displacement styles the turbo doesn't give you quite as much turn down but it is a very reliable and 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 a very high efficient machine with with very little maintenance so if you have a constant for for like water level if your water level is going to be fairly constant that's mm -hmm. a perfect application mm -hmm. for turbo Turbos can handle about a five psi differential. Okay. Uh, beyond that, we have to go to a different impeller mm -hmm. profile, and you can't change those out in the field. So, that's a somewhat of a limitation of a turbo PD style technologies. Two to fifteen psi, it doesn't really matter. Well, thanks for talking to us today, Kevin. Appreciate it. Um, you should uh, go to our website. Uh, tpenv.com forward slash LDIB. Register for our, our blog. Um, if you register for our blog, sign up for our Facebook page and uh, subscribe to YouTube, we will, our YouTube channel, we will send you a free hat, camo hat. So um, it's Excellent. good being here. Excellent. And, Thank uh, you very much. Thanks.